From rocky coasts, to mystical and magical landscapes, to spire-filled skylines of awe, Scotland is a place where your daydreams become reality. Join me on this Scottish road trip and series as we drive through the country, hike unreal landscapes, check out famous sites, and take a walk through the city. Welcome to Size Scottish Road Trip. Hey everyone, it's Sai, and welcome to the very first episode of Size Scottish Road Trip. We're heading across the pond to the beautiful and romantic city of Edinburgh, Scotland, where our journey begins. Upon arrival, we're renting a car and hitting the road pretty quickly to the mysterious town of Glencoe. So come along and explore magical Scotland on Size Scottish Road Trip. After only a few miles, the beauty of the Scottish countryside is already captivating. We eventually cut through the edge of Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. It was the first of two national parks established by Scottish Parliament in 2002, the other being Cairngorms National Park, which we will visit later on. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to do the park justice, and is on the top of my list for when I come back. One of the things I already discovered myself liking about Scottish roads was that there are a healthy amount of road pull-offs this pull-off near Loch Lubnaig and Loch Lomond National Park was great for some fresh air, a stretch, and some of the first photographs of the trip. As we continue on, I have to say the landscape scenery around Glencoe is absolutely stunning. It reminded us of Iceland, honestly. The darker textures and craggy mountains were mesmerizing, and a local told me that the Bond film Skyfall was filmed here, and you can see why. It's an absolutely magical setting. We felt like spies driving deep into enemy lines as Bond has done so many times. I immediately fell in love with waterfalls around each corner as it was something out of a fairy tale. And speaking of fairy tales, we were exhausted, running on fumes from our sleepless red eye. Where will we wake up? Glen Finnan, of course. After a good night's sleep in Glencoe, we hit the road again and have made our way to the Glenfinnan Viaduct, where I hear the Hogwarts Express runs through. Wicked. Anything off the trolley, dears? Uh, yes, we'll take two butterbeers and a treacle tart, please. Maybe a chocolate frog, too. Hmm, I think Drony Boy won't be making an appearance here. It was a lovely day, as you can see, and I realized my idea of filming on-the-spot segues was probably not going to work as it rained, and rained, and rained. As big Harry Potter fans, we had to make a stop here, even though it was kind of out of the way, and oh so not windy at all. but we still had a lovely hike around the viaduct and saw great views of Glenfinnan and Loch Shiel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I apologize for butchering any of the pronunciations. I'm really trying my best here. The hike is about three miles in distance and you can even hike to the Glenfinnan train station where there is a permanent dining cart. Sadly, it closes in October. Really could have used a hot drink here. Glenfinnan is also known for being the area where the 1745 Jacobite uprising began, as Prince Charles Edward Stuart, or the Bonnie Prince Charles, rose his standard on Loch Shiel and began his march to try to reclaim his right to the throne. The monument you see commemorates this event in history. We'd really hoped to see the steam locomotive on the viaduct, but after a few hours we were completely soaked. And it was only getting worse so you can use your imagination on this one. Here, I'll give you a little help. I feel you, Harry and Ron. We had been driving all day and we were getting pretty tired. It was time to get going. Our last destination on the road is a little quick dusk visit to the Eilean Donan Castle. It is Scotland's most photographed and visited castle and sits at the confluence of three locks. Honestly, it was incredible to look at. 
The original castle was built in the 13th century and was a stronghold for Clan Mackenzie and Clan MacRae, but was destroyed in 1719 for the clan's involvement in the Jacobite rebellions of that time. The castle you see here is the 20th century reconstruction of the old castle. I thought it was really cool, and it's definitely worth a stop if you ever get the chance. And that about wraps up day one in Scotland. We're hitting the road once again, and we're heading towards the mysterious and moody Isle of Skye, where some famous landscapes and moody hikes await us. Be sure to check out episode two of Sci Scottish Road Trip. I'll see you there.